a place to begin. Why in the world does anyone wonder about is there an America beyond capitalism? The person who created Davos, the gathering of the most powerful corporate capitalist structures in the entire world, this year opened the conference saying he thought capitalism may well be over. Same message as Occupy. What is it in a time of a, of a great society that people can actually ask that question and mean it not rhetorically? And then ask two questions. If you don't like capitalism and you don't like state socialism, what do you want? Is there an alternative? What, is there a system that might achieve democracy, equality, liberty, community, ecological sustainability, and not destroy the planet with climate change problems? And what in the world is a system? So how do you unpack those questions so that the real questions, rather than rhetorical or abstract or radical slogans, and I think unless we can do that, we can't actually think about where we want to go. And if you don't know where you want to go, you probably are on the wrong road in terms of your politics as well. So one question, what do you want, really? And a second question, if we actually could clarify some of that, is there any reason to believe, this is the hard one for most people because people start at the end, it really isn't possible to have radical, fundamental, systemic change. But maybe it is, and that's what we're going to talk about in the second part. So um, what in the world do we mean when we say there's a systemic crisis or a system? What is it? By and large, you can, you can tell, you get a sense of what a systemic crisis is when the long, long trends simply do not change in response to politics or reform or action. So for instance, the top 1% of the income distribution, the top 1% of the population has increased its share of income over the last 30 years steadily, steadily from 10% to 12 up to 22%. And then bouncing around because of the recession in the 18 to 22% range, which means that the bottom 99% lost that income. But the trends haven't changed in response to political reform. They are integral to the system. Something deeper is generating the trends. That's one sign, both of a system at work and a systemic crisis that doesn't respond, doesn't respond to politics, even though politics goes down, the long trends continue. That's one way to look at it. The environmental trends on virtually every measure have also exhibited that long decaying trend. There are a few exceptions, but by and large, they're going south and not shifting in response to politics. The question of liberty comes up. Most people take the word liberty as an abstraction. I take it very seriously. There's an obvious measure. How many people do we deprive of liberty? How many do we put in jail and prison? That figure has gone steadily up for the last three decades. We are now seven times as many people per capita in prison than any other advanced nation, largely black people. And the trends do not change. They are deeply embedded into something called the system, whatever we mean by that. And 35 years ago, if you asked people, do they believe in democracy? Is this a democratic country? Two thirds, three quarters in most surveys would say, yes, of course. Our political leaders do what the people want. And that trend, too, has gone down. So if you ask now, they say about three to one. Washington's controlled by bureaucrats and money and politicians. They don't care what we do. Why should I bother? Signals at every level, from the opener at Davos to Occupy, to the long, deep, profound trends, tell you something deeper is at work. That's what we mean at least in the first stage, by a systemic crisis, that the system is not changing. So how do we define a system? What are the core ideas? Most scholars and most social scientists, most historians, 
zero in first and foremost on the most obvious place to start. Who owns the property? Who's got the wealth? Who's got the money? Usually that's a good signal of where the power also lies. Not always, but it's a good starting point.